Welcome guys to Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. This game is for the Game Boy Advance. It features Goku, Krillin, the gang, the original team. This isn't Z, this isn't Super or GT, the original Dragon Ball. It's a side-scroller beat-em-up that came out in June 6, 2006 in North America, but that was two years after in Japan and a year after in Europe. So it actually came out November 18, 2004 in Japan and June 17, 2005 in Europe. So we got this pretty late in the game. But regardless, this is a fantastic side-scroller beat-em-up. So even if you're not a Dragon Ball fan and you love really flowy combat, this is a perfect game to pick up. And it's handheld, so if you can get it on the Game Boy Advance, or if you have your SP or even the Micro, or heck, even the, the first Nintendo DS, you can play this on the go, and it's a lot of fun. So let's hop right into this. We're gonna be doing regular. I'm actually gonna be deleting this save file. I was doing a little bit of a test just to make sure everything worked properly. And regular, so that's just your medium difficulty. And right off the bat, we have our story mode. So the cool thing about this is, yes, it's of course the original Dragon Ball. So there's no Super Saiyans. There's nothing like that. There is there isn't giant planet destroying monsters and aliens. This is just, you know, the slice of life, beautiful, just charming tale of the original Dragon Ball. It was a martial arts spectacle with a lot of gag humor, and it's great. So the story starts off at the beginning of Dragon Ball, and it goes all the way up in Seal, the King Piccolo arc. So sadly, it doesn't have the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament or the Tenkaichi Budokai. Um, it, it does kind of suck, but, you know, this is just a strictly, I guess, Kid Goku kind of game. But uh, nonetheless, it is awesome. So one-on-one -on -one here, this is a... They have their own built-in engine for specific fights in the story. Like, you know, we'll get to the World Martial Arts Tournament. We'll do fights with Piccolo, Tao Pai Pai, other characters, and training segments. So they actually built their own little uh, 1v1 uh, fighter, basically. So it's, it's actually really cool how the combat is. And I'll get more into that once we actually get there. And your options, yep, so collection, where we have the erase save data. Uh, collections, this is interesting because you can go and find different secrets throughout each level. And there's a lot of hidden objects and secrets, so we'll try and get as many as we can. Some you can't get because you'll have to beat the game first and you unlock an extra mode. So extra mode will appear in the menu here, and you'll be able to replay the story mode with Krillin, actually, and it will allow you to find more hidden objects and fill your tre uh, treasure chart, which is pretty cool. Um, Link mode, this is pretty self-explanatory. If you were around for the Game Boy days, um, even, I think the original Game Boy had one too, but you know, color, advance, all that. You used to have a link cable that you would attach uh, one end to your Game Boy, the other end to the other Game Boy, and you could play. You could trade, most people use it for trading Pokemon. Uh, but you could also use it to fight each other in this game. Um, there wasn't a co-op option here. I think that would have been cool, but I don't know if that's too taxing on the Game Boy Advance. But you can still do one-on-one -on -one combat, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, so there's a few characters you can select for with that. I'll get into the one-on-one -on -one at some point, but for now we're going to focus on the story mode, so let's hop right into it. Once upon a time, Deep in the mountains, a great adventure was about to begin. As Goku was working hard at his training, a girl came along. The girl's name was Bulma. She was a cute, strong-willed girl. When Bulma saw the ball that Goku kept as a memento, she made him an odd proposition. She actually tried to show him her butt, but he said, I don't want to see your dirty butt, and then she got mad. <laughs> it was a beautiful ball that had stars inside of it. It was called a Dragon Ball. They were very unusual balls, and when all seven are gathered together, it is said that the Eternal Dragon will appear and grant any one wish. So still only one wish at this point with Shenron or Shenlong, whatever you want to call him. And so, from the unexpected beginnings, Goku and Bulma wind up on a journey, together to seek out the remaining Dragon Balls. This is the start of the story. This, um, this backdrop here, I feel like they've redrawn this in Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, and I think in Dragon Ball Super Superhero. 
could be wrong, but I feel like this this is an iconic shot, but it was like redrawn in the credits, I feel like, in Battle of Gods. Anyways, here's level one. Where are we? We're at Goku's home, our Grandpa Gohan's house. And right off the bat, I have to say the pixel art in this game is absolutely phenomenal. It's it's so charming. It's visually bright and appealing, just like how the show was. Lots of nice colors. And hey, you get Goku in his boogie. You know, the one he always trained in at the very beginning before he gets his, uh, you know, Turtle Hermit uh, gi. And right here, we get our first enemy. These are quite common, guys. Uh, yeah, he just has a sword. He'll try and slash at us, but he's too slow. Um, they don't do much damage. You can do a little bit of a combo there. I will show you guys. So if you press A and B down, you will get the, yep, the, the down kick. You know, they used to do this in a lot of side scroller beat em ups. I use this to traverse. If you're on top of giant mountains up, like in these some of these stages, you can really get like gain some distance by doing that. But it's also useful as obviously a weapon. Use your feet. So that's the first enemy that we encounter, and he's very basic. You can also do that and put it right into a combo. There you go. And if you see that, uh, that was an apple that we just picked up. So if you're low on health, the top left there, obviously that is our health. We'll be able to extend our health more and get a green bar. But for now, we're just stuck with this. We're still at the right of the game. So right here is the first wave. There's a lot of these in the game. They're quite fun. Here's our second enemy type, and one of my least favorite. They're really annoying. They fly around, and I, I constantly get hit by them. And here is our third enemy type. They are just like these brutes, or pigs, warthogs, what do you want to call them? But they have something different with them. See? Right there. Do it again. Yes. So up B, you're able to use a yo yoibo. Yoibo. I've been trying to practice to say that. You can use the power ball, I'll just say that, to deflect gunshot blasts. And it's very useful in those wave modes, because if you're attacking somebody on the left or the right screen, you get like a pile of the, the gunner guys come in, then you can quickly turn around, boom, and then just deflect it back at them, and it can also hit other enemies, which is good. But they're also weaker than these guys, so that's that's a, that's a good good thing, I guess. And with those, the pterodactyls, it's just up B. There's our cheeseburger. That just replenishes our health. But yep, yeah, up go. Oh. Well, I did a down B there. Up B and B. So there you go. Two hits and it's going to take those guys out. Sometimes they kind of get a little finicky and they get around your moves, but... Yep, just like that. And this is what I wanted to talk about. So, look how far you can traverse <laughs> just with the kick. Nice. Aha. We got another wave coming up here. Take these guys out quite quick. Boom. There's your other attack. Over in B, you'll be able to grab them just like that and launch them, which is quite nice. Alrighty, let's get to the next section. The combat feels very flowy and intuitive. It's it just everything you're doing and like your commands, you feel that in the game. So, see that? There's another enemy type, just a little bit weaker, I believe, than these red guys, but they still have those pistols, and you can deflect it right back. So, we got another wave here. Just gotta watch out for the center. This is where... Whoa. He hit me the first time, and the second time it, it didn't get to me. Anyways, yeah, just watch out for that pit there. Right here is up A. We can use the power pole or the Nyoi bow. <laughs> Go get yourself some health there if you need it. Nice, we got another wave. It's 
so yeah you can kind of get creative Whoa, with these here's another enemy type yep they they're the same um i believe they have the same health but they just drop bombs on you so they're a little annoying to get over top and you're kind of in like a little battle uh so heads up for those guys but you can jump and kick them right out of them and you can actually fly them across the screen and they'll they can potentially hit other enemies i'll try and do it here yeah, see that right there? So I was able to hit him down there. And if you heard that that little jingle there, so we got 20,000 points, so we were able to get a 1-up, so we have an extra life. These red doors we can't access, so these are the areas where you're going to be able to find treasures and look at those in the collections menu. But unfortunately we can't enter this one. This is for extra mode, so the mode that I was telling you about where you can play as Goku again or Krillin, and you can come back to these areas and uh, yeah, this is how you, you have to go through extra mode and unlock these doors. They're already unlocked for you, I mean, and that's how you get the remaining treasures. And also, just double tap and he'll do a run. I get so nervous on the bridge like this. Oh. So I think there's like a, when you're recording, there's like a curse where you do really good when you're not recording, and then when you record, you're like, oh, I just died, and this was miserable. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so it's very simple. Whoa. Nice, see that? So I actually deflected or avoided damage with the bomb there. Two hits with that, takes those guys out. Yeah, that combo there is really good. You know, and then kick up, kick up, hit down. You know, you can just experiment with all sorts of stuff. I'm going to showcase another attack that we can do. So we got a new enemy type coming up. Oh, that would have been hard to get uh, the two of them there. Our health is full though, so we're good. Here's the new enemy type. They're still quite weak, but if you get a couple of these guys kind of bombarding you, they're not fun. <laughs> Let's get in here first. So you see right there, there is a capsule. So we got a thousand points to our score at the top right. So you can find collectibles like that. I don't think that one is featured in the collectible screen. But it might be. I am not entirely sure, but a lot of like all your the get or the treasures you find will be in that screen. Take these oh I didn't think you're gonna hit me there. Right up here you can find yourself a turkey. Look at that. Oh, need to be up there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see how slow it gets? Oh. You'll really pick it up after a couple levels, if not the first, really, and... Ah, this is, see, this is why I hate these guys. Jeez, come on. Maybe I'll get, oh, I was about to say, can I get an apple? Oh man, it just wasted it. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be appearing right to the end of this level shortly. Oh, I didn't turn around, see? There, I did that time. Yeah, got him with that. Watch out for these guys. Ah, you see that? That's the move I was talking about. So if you know in, uh, in Stride Scroller beat em ups how you can press, you know, two buttons together, like Final Fight, or, you know, a, most Side Scroller beat em up games, even like the Turtles games, Ninja Turtles, um, and it'll take some of your health away. It's like that, but this one takes your key bar away, energy bar, whatever you want to call it. So it's pretty cool.
<laughs> Help! There's Turtle. I love his sprite. It looks great. Yeah, and like this guy. Hey, kid. How about handing over the delicious looking sea turtle? You wouldn't happen to be a bad guy, would you? Hmm. Don't tell me you're gonna defy me. I'm not giving him over to the likes of you. Insolent brat. If that's how you want it, I'll eat you first. Here's the first boss we got. Quite easy too. You can just kind of mess around with him. See him when he does that, you can kind of, he's really slow, you can get away. He's gonna, oh, he'll block you and when he does, he starts to glow, there's his heavy attack. See if, yep, here we go. That's his super, or his strongest attack, whatever you want to call it. Oh. I love the kick. <laughs> I lost a lot more health than I thought it was going to be. My first little test round, uh, I did quite well. At the request of the rescued turtle, Goku and the others make their way to the sea. As Goku marvels at seeing the sea for the first time, the turtle brings someone else. Hey, look who it is, it's Master Roshi. Hello, good afternoon. I can't do Master Roshi's voice, uh, I, I just can't. <laughs> You're the one who saved my turtle, right? Is that more Kami, or...? <laughs> Old timer, who are you? I'm Master Roshi. To thank you for going to so much trouble, I've got a nifty present to give you. Come here, flying Nimbus. <laughs> I don't know, I can't do it. But look what it is, it's the Flying Nimbus, or the Kinto one. Huh, you're giving me this? Thanks. Ah, what's that hanging from your neck? What, you mean this ball here? No doubt about it, that's a Dragon Ball. It's pretty lucky. Ah, you're right, Yahoo! Please, let me have that Dragon Ball, okay? Hmm, why not? It's on the house. Take it with you. How lucky. Thanks, I got it. I got it. We got another Dragon Ball. Um, if you actually know or have read or watched the show or, you know, read the manga, you know that it wasn't that easy for Bulma and Goku to get that Dragon Ball. Bulma had to indeed do some nasty stuff because, uh, Master Roshi's perverted. <laughs> Nasty as in she had to She had to flash him. It's just Dragon Ball back then, you know, that stuff was wild And so Goku and Bulma obtained the flying Nimbus and a Dragon Ball. They then went off to their next destination Obtained collection item flying Nimbus. There we go. There's our first collection item Now you can have sky battles with Goku. Yep, so we got the flying Nimbus and the next level will actually be, it'll showcase a sky battle, which is quite cool. Right on, so you see this? This is the first introduction to the overworld. So you can actually replay levels if you want, and you know, you want to go back and do that? Sure, go for it. Or if you want to re-read the cutscene um, at Kame House, then you can redo that. But right up here is Oolong's village, so this is what happens next in the story. But until then, I'm gonna leave it off at this part. The next episode will hop right into Oolong's village, and that will showcase the first instance of a sky battle. They're pretty cool, so you're gonna wanna check it out. But until then, guys, peace out. This is Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure.